Mr. Stubborn says there are no monsters in this book by Roger Hargreaves. When it comes to things that go bump in the night, Mr. Stubborn shows no fear. But this is because he doesn't believe in monsters. These three stories show just how stubborn Mr. Stubborn can be. Even when he is face to face with a scary creature, he still refuses to admit he's wrong. Finding the Fangosaurus. Mr. Stubborn, Mr. Noisy, and Little Miss Naughty wandered through a dark cavern. They were looking for a monster called the Fangosaurus. We've been down here for hours and still haven't seen the Fangosaurus. It doesn't exist, said Mr. Stubborn. I know it's real, protested Little Miss Naughty. It's got to be here. Mr. Noisy looked around. What does the map say? He asked. Mr. Stubborn unfolded the map. It says ignore me and listen to Mr. Stubborn. He knows his way around caves. Mr. Stubborn always thought he was right. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, little Miss Naughty screamed. Look, there it is. What? Where? Mr. Noisy and Mr. Stubborn shouted. <laughs> Little Miss Naughty laughed. Made you look. No more jokes, Little Miss Naughty. Let's move on, said Mr. Stubborn. <laughs> the map says to turn right at the stalactite, Mr. Noisy shouted. There it is. That's not a stalactite. That's a stalactite, argued Mr. Stubborn. But Mr. Noisy knew how to tell them apart. Stalactites hang from the ceiling like that one. He yelled, pointing up. No, you are wrong, Mr. Stubborn insisted. This is a stalactite on the ground. Mr. Stubborn didn't really know the difference, but he was sure, still sure he was right. <laughs> and that is a Fangosaurus, shrieked little Miss Naughty. Ah, Mr. Noisy shouted. Oops, giggled little Miss Naughty. Sorry, it's just a stalactite. <laughs> I'm finished looking for your fake monster, said Mr. Stubborn. Mr. Stubborn set off, set off farther into the cave. Uh, Mr. Stubborn, Mr. Noisy hollered after him. I'm thinking it's this way. Our footprints are coming from this direction. <laughs> Those aren't footprints. They're foot-shaped holes in the dirt, argued Mr. Stubborn. <laughs> what in the actual world? <laughs> I'm wheezing. <laughs> Suddenly, little Miss Naughty heard a noise. She turned around and came face to face with the dreaded Fangosaurus. He picked her up by her hat and tossed her from side to side. Mr. Stubborn, little Miss Naughty cried. Mr. Noisy, it's, it's. We are done playing with your city gates, little Miss Naughty. Mr. Stubborn replied, did not bother him to look. I'm telling you, Mr. Noisy, it's this way. I'm calling for help, Mr. Noisy yelled. He sounded the alarm on his megaphone, which was even louder than Mr. Noisy himself. Startled by Mr. Noisy's alarm, the Fangosaurus dropped Little Miss Naughty. Then he ran off straight to the wall of the cave. There's the exit, cried Mr. Stubborn, spying the monster shaped hole in the wall. I knew it was this way. Come on, Little Miss Naughty. I told you there was no monster. <laughs> what werewolf? It was Friday the 13th, and Mr. Stubborn and Little Miss Chatterbox were having dinner at the Dillydale restaurant. Oh my gosh, look at Mr. Stubborn, said Little Miss Chatterbox. A full moon. Do you know what's going to happen? There's a full moon on Friday the 13th, so it's going to turn into a werewolf. There's no such thing as a werewolf, said Mr. Stubborn. Oh, but it's true, said Little Miss Chatterbox. I saw it on TV. You can't believe everything you see on TV, Mr. Stubborn replied. <laughs> Suddenly, Mr. Stubborn's ears began to grow bigger, and his nose began to grow longer. He was turning into a werewolf. I tell you, little Miss Chatterbox, there is no such thing as the werewolf, Mr. Stubborn said, unaware of the change. But, Mr. Stubborn, protested little Miss Chatterbox. No, I am right, said Mr. Stubborn, but you just turned into a werewolf, little Miss Chatterbox yelled. Mr. Stubborn reached up and touched his werewolf face. My face has not changed, he insisted. Just then, Mr. Tickle walked up to the table. 
Hi, little Miss Shatterbox. Hi, Mr. Ah! <laughs> Mr. Tickle Street jumping up into the air. Mr. Stubborn, you're a werewolf. <laughs> I've had enough of this ridiculous talk, said Mr. Stubborn. There's no such thing as a werewolf. But as he walked through the restaurant, everyone screamed in fright. <laughs> Bellowed Mr. Noisy as he jumped onto the table. Werewolf, little Miss Helpful yelped. <laughs> Only little Miss Sunshine remained calm. Mr. Stubborn stopped in front of her table and she held up a mirror. Mr. Stubborn gazed at his werewolf face, but he refused to admit he was wrong. This mirror does not work, he shouted. There is no such thing as a werewolf. And with that, the werewolf stormed away. <laughs> the search for the swamp monster. One dark and spooky night, Mr. Stubborn, Mr. Quiet, and Mr. S Grumpy walked through the Billy Dust Swamp. They were looking for the Dillydale Swamp Monster. I'm telling you, gentlemen, it's here somewhere, said Mr. Grumpy. This is a waste of time, said Mr. Stubborn. The Swamp Monster does not exist. <laughs> Mr. Grumpy shined his flashlight on the boat. Look, the monster bit off my motor last night. Oh, that's a big sight, whispered Mr. Quiet. Your boat is just cheap. The motor probably fell off on its own, argued Mr. Stubborn. But I saw it. I'll prove it to you, said Mr. Grubby. He put in the bucket Mr. Quiet was holding. Toss that monster bait into the water. Gross, muttered Mr. Quiet as he dumped the bait into the swamp. Shh, the swamp monster won't come out if there is noise. Mr. Grubby whispered, It won't come out because it doesn't exist, yelled Mr. Stubborn. Maybe you saw a frog. It's not a frog, said Mr. Grumpy. Or a turtle, Mr. Stubborn insisted. No, it wasn't a turtle either, Mr. Grumpy rolled his eyes. <laughs> Mr. Stubborn shook his ass out into Mr. Grumpy's face. I'll bet it was a duck. It was not a duck, screamed Mr. Grumpy, as the two fought. Mr. Quiet peered in the water at two big black eyes. Uh, Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Stubborn, Mr. Quiet whispered, definitely not a duck. The swamp monster rose slowly from the water. Mr. Quiet shook in fear. Uh, guys, monster? Suddenly the monster's big sticky pink tongue shouted and grabbed. Mr. Quiet's bucket of bait. Uh, guys, Mr. Quiet said again. Don't interrupt, Mr. Quiet, said Mr. Grumpy. We're having a discussion. More like someone who's completely right, talking to someone who's completely wrong, yelled Mr. Stubborn. Just then, a giant green hand reached down and plucked Mr. Stubborn off the dock. The swamp monster slowly sank into the water with Mr. Stubborn. Mr. Grumpy didn't even notice, but Mr. Quiet did. It's been nice knowing you, Mr. Stubborn, he said as they continued to sink. Mr. Quiet tapped Mr. Grumpy's shoulder. Then he pointed out into the swamp. Mr. Stubborn was sitting on the monster's stomach. It's the swamp monster, Mr. Grumpy yelled. <laughs> Mr. Stubborn looked down at the monster. This is just a big frog, he said. I told you, there are no monsters in this swamp. <laughs> what? <laughs> what in the What in the actual world was that free? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> It's funny. I've laughed. You read the what the actual world oogie boogie. Why did you sing that song and say that explosive freed? Cause it's funny.